Hello everyone. You're welcome to Few Cool Math, where we solve math problems into detail. And this is what we have before us today. 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x equals 2. Now we are only going to find the real solution to this problem. Okay, so just hold on and watch. What we'll do first is to rearrange the power here. So we have 2 to the power of x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x equals 0. Remember, if you open this bracket, you will have this back, right? So let's continue. Now we have 2 to the power of x in two places. Let's pick a letter, pick a letter to represent 2 to the power of x. So let's say y is equal to 2 to the power of x. And in place of 2 to the power of x now, I'm going to write y. That will be raised to the power of 3 plus, this is 2 to the power of x, right? So it's going to be y again. And the whole of this will be equal to 2. The next thing to be done is to bring everything to the left. So we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 2 to be equal to 0. And then the next thing is this. We are going to try to factorize this. These three terms, they do not have anything in common, right? Nothing is common to the three of them. But then we can group them into two so that we can be able to factorize. And for us to group into two, we have to split this y into two so that they will be balanced one, two, three, so that there will now be four terms before the equal two. So I'm going to have y to the power of three minus one y plus two y minus two to be equal to zero. Remember, minus y plus two y will give us plus y. So nothing has changed. So from here, we are going to factorize this two and factorize this two because something is now common to the two terms. For here, y is common. And then I'm going to have um, y squared in here minus here y has gone out so it's going to be 1 over there then plus here 2 is common open bracket y and this becomes minus 1 because 2 into 2 is 1 and the whole of this is equal to 0 and now if you look at what we have here nothing is common what we have in the bracket here is not the same as what we have here but look at the step I want to take this is the same thing as y into bracket y squared minus 1 squared. Now, this is because 1 squared will still give us this 1, right? So, plus 2 into bracket y minus 1. The whole of this is equal to 0. What I did is to square the 1 here so I can apply difference of two squares. And if I am to apply difference of two squares, this is what I will have. That means I'm going to have this in two places. But one will be positive and the other one will be negative, And there will no longer be square on them. So we'll have y plus 1. Okay, we'll have that first. And then in the other bracket, I'm going to have y minus 1. This is what we call difference of two squares. Now, we have plus, here we have 2 into bracket y minus 1, which will be equal to 0. And if you look at this critically, you see that we now have common factor, and that is y minus 1, because it is here and it is here. So I'm going to factor out y minus 1, because it is a common factor. Then in the other bracket, I will have y into y plus 1. That means I have this and this left on this side. Then in the other, I will have plus 2. 
okay because this has already come out here so we have two here we can close this bracket and it is equal to zero now open the bracket in here so that we have y minus one outside and this will now be y squared plus y times one m um, times one is y then plus two this will be equal to zero now remember i said we are only going to consider the real solution now we apply zero product rule and that says it is either y minus one here is equal to zero or all of this is equal to zero and that is y squared plus y plus two equals zero and now i'm trying to show you why this quadratic equation will not give us a real solution if you're going to apply um the quadratic formula method this is what you have for this our a is one our b is one and our c is two that is the constant over there b is this um, the coefficient of um, y and a is a coefficient of y squared now the formula is this because we have y as the unknown variable y will be equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is all over 2a if you put everything into this equation you're going to have negative square root okay so we have y to be equal to minus b now becomes minus one positive or negative then we have b squared becomes one squared right minus four times one for a times two for c and this is all over two times one remember i'm trying to show you why this will not give us a real solution now this means that y will be equal to minus okay minus one positive or negative square root of one is one minus four times one times two is eight and this will be over two but then looking at it you now know that you're going to have um a negative square root because in here it will be minus seven in that square root meaning there is no real solution from here and we should reject whatever we have from here now let's go back to the one that will give us a real solution and that is um, this linear equation y minus one is equal to zero now let let me pick it out okay so if y minus one is equal to zero and that means that y is equal to one because it's going to be zero plus one on the right now this is the only solution that is real and that satisfies the given equation by the way this is the given equation 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x equal to equal to 2 oh there is one point that we have not dealt with remember we are getting y over here and there is no y in the equation right remember when we say that um y is equal to 2 to the power of x this is where we'll get the x from meaning that one here now will be equal to 2 to the power of x and for 2 to the power of x to be equal to 0 that means that this x here should be 0 because any number to the power of 0 gives 1 right okay so automatically we now know that our x is equal to 0 and if you put this x equals 0 into this original equation, then you have 2 to the power of 3 times 0 plus 2 to the power of 0 to be equal to what? Will this give us 2? If yes, then we are correct. Now, this will be 2 to the power of 0 because 3 times 0 is 0 and that will give 1 plus here 2 to the power of 0 is still 1 and at the end of the day we have 2 here if you add this up therefore our x to be equal to 0 
is the only solution that is real that satisfies the given equation.